Hi, D2. Hello. Hi, Hello. how are you tonight? Fine. Yeah. And how was your day? Um, a little. It's fine. It's not, I'm not too busy today. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Great, you could relax a little bit. Beatrice, yes. I don't see you. Gio. Uh, Hi. Hi. Yeah, now I see you. All right, it's me. How are you doing, guys? I'm fine, teacher. It was a hard, it was a hard day, you. but I, I'm fine. What, you had a lot of work? Yes. Yes, I had a lot of work. I yes. had to be at the office today. <laughs> so sometimes you stay home and you work from home and sometimes you go to the office? Is that the way you're doing it? Yes, two or three days I, I work at home and mm -hmm. one or two days I go to the office. Guys, what do you prefer? Do you prefer going to the office or working from home? Honestly. I prefer working working from home. <laughs> hmm. You, Gio? Um, I prefer working uh, at the half office. And half. half and half is good. Half yeah. and half is perfect, right? It's a perfect yeah, balance, perfect. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you know, I'm I'm working all day in front of the computer and I need uh, I, I miss seeing my students face to face. So yeah, maybe like 50 50. Yeah. In the mornings, face to face, and at night online, like I used to do in the past. But you know, it is what it is. Ismenia yes. and Veronica, and you too, Alvin, what do you prefer, working from home or going to the office? In my case, I prefer it in my home because when I got, I have to travel a lot. Uh, and you don't so travel, you early. commute. You, you commute. I, yes. Yeah, I travel commute. Is like four hours, let's say. Ah, okay. I commute out and it's so tired. It's tiring. It's You're tiring, tired. yeah. Yeah, the situation <laughs> is tiring. It's All right. tired, yeah. In your case, yeah, it's very convenient. All right. Well, let's... Let's get back to where we left off last night. Let me see. We were comparing this. I said we were not going to do it. And then I feel like there's something pending, guys. Can you help me remember? There's something pending, right? No? Mm, no. Maybe not. Maybe. Okay. So <laughs> probably we're good then. All right. Can you read the objective, please, Alvin? By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. Now with British accent, please. Ah, okay. By the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're the one. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I will read it. Mm -mm. Ah. Uh, you can read the, <laughs> the questions. Go ahead, Alvin. <laughs> What, what kind of job does Carlos do? Ah, oh, it's very sad. It's very Number short. Number two, this one. What kind of jobs does Carlos do? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> what kind of job? Yeah, it's very short. That that sentence. I don't know how to do that. But the problem is, I've been in El Salvador. It's not convenient to have a British accent because no, in my case, of... because I I work with. British people, so. Oh, excuse me, sir. Sorry, Gio? So, why is it not convenient here in El Salvador? Oh, why not? Because the majority of jobs are with the United uh, States. Yes, yes. And right. the problem is that some people, if you go to an interview, a job interview, they're going to listen to you. And they'll be like, what kind of accent is that? It sounds too like Spanish, like whatever, right? So it's going to be like. Sounds like if you are sounds... in the world of Harry Potter. 
Harry Potter. Uh huh. So they <laughs> may get confused and think that you have yeah. a bad accent instead of saying, "Oh, it's British." They're gonna be like bad accent. So it's not convenient for you. No. Sounds rare. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds rare. <laughs> Can... That sounds rare. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's focus. <laughs> let's watch the video. I think this is a listening activity. So if you want to take notes, go ahead. To answer your questions later. Hi, everyone. Right, do you? Hi, everyone. In this class, you will develop skills in listening to the scriptures. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh. I am working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No. I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. So many phases. Okay. I bet you have the answers, or do you need to listen one more time, guys? You tell me. You could listen one more you time. You tell me. If we put in. All right. Yeah, we we can do it. But guys, have the answers ready. I mean, yeah, go to the platform section two point ten. All right, and go to the answers so you listen and answer the questions at the same time. It's gonna be better for you. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. At the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to the scriptures. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! Paul! Did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? 
Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full-time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. I can sleep as late as I want to in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna imitate like you. I'll be. <laughs> All right. What are the answers? So it says, "What kind of job does Carlos do?" What's the answer, guys? Tutor for kids. Uh, yeah. Tutor, tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Tutor. Tutor for Not kids. Not really. Tutor. Tutor for kids. Tutor. All right. Two. What kind of job does Julia do? Marketing. No. Um, telemarketing, 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 telemarketing agent. Telemarketing, telemarketing agent. 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 Yeah. I've been. <laughs> You're gonna confuse everyone. That's fine, but yeah. For your kind of jobs, that's Paul do. He's a chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. assistant. <laughs> what kind of jobs does Paul do? Chef assistant. Paul. Again. Oh, well, same. Okay. It's repeated. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you. It's the same question. <laughs> so it's the same answer. Like what they do and why? Do not. Oh. It's the same answer. Paul doesn't like. Doesn't uh, like. Paul doesn't like his job. It's really hard in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. It's really hard work, and it's really hot in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have heard that accent before. Alrighty done well done yes there it is finally okay section three and today is tonight it's wednesday so we're good yeah we're supposed to start in, in, in section three already by the way guys this weekend you have to be working on the midterm okay and finish it by Sunday. So you have to do the, the midterm this weekend, please. Don't forget. Can you read the objective, please, Yesenia? By the end of this lesson, you will learn about different uh, favors that people ask and express uh, your opinion on favors that you dislike people asking for you. No, asking you for. Yes, that's, yeah, that's a different meaning. Okay, I like this topic. Um, it's fun. Look at this. Do we have to answer any questions? Well, maybe. Guys, let's do something. You're going to watch this video. There's no explanation as far as I remember. So I would like you to write down new expressions. Okay, let's watch. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I so glad you're home. I'm gonna play it here. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a bit. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Ann? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? 
I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? OK. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, we've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. OK. La Rosa de Guadalupe. Hey, kiddo. How's the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. <laughs> You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! Turn down the volume. Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. Anybody home? Morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Do you mind if I borrow this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring you. The music, right? Okay, well, uh, let me see if we have questions about this. Hold on. All right. Um, what expressions did you write from the video? I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Very good. What else? Could you please do me a favor? 
flavor. Very good. What else? You didn't write any expressions from the video, guys? <laughs> Just two? Could you please turn the volume down? Uh -huh. So they were using the expression, could you please, to ask for favors, okay? Could you please, what else? <clears throat> uh, how'd you do it? How did you do it, probably? How you do it? How do, how do you do it? I don't know. How did you do it? This would be, this would be how... Uh, yeah. Contraction form here. This would be the past. Like an informal way of saying it, how do you do it? Do you mind? Do you mind? Yes, very good. This is to ask for a request or something. This is exactly what we're going to practice. Mm -hmm. But I know that you want to practice. We love practice, don't we? So, look. I'm going to send you some <clears throat> some expressions. One second. I'm not, not here. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Imagine. <clears throat> All right. Uh, check the image, guys. I'm sending it right now. It says, could you do me a favor? right what you have to discuss is imagine that a close friend asks you to ask you each of these favors which would you agree to do what are the three other favors that you dislike being asked so we're going to discuss these favors and uh, discuss which is like a favor you really hate being asked and a favor you don't mind doing is that clear yes all right, yes. let's talk about those. And if you can give examples of the worst favor somebody can ask you, that would be great. All right. So let's work in small groups. Give me one second. I'm going to make the groups. Hold on. Yeah. All right, accept the invitation, please. Let's practice. You got the invitation, Carlos? Say, could you me, could you do me a favor? Bought me a coffee? What do you think about it? Uh, if if the favor is the first one, I think uh, maybe I can do it. But but the but my but but if my coworker sent me uh, a lot of time, maybe I I told I told her or told him. That no. <laughs> okay. I don't Maybe you say no. <laughs> I don't because know. You're because every day. You. <laughs> because yeah. you don't want as many. It's like you don't want to feel like they're taking advantage of you. Sorry? You don't want to feel like they're taking advantage of you. Yes. That's the expression yes. take advantage of. Tomar, uh, aprovecharse, take advantage of. Uh -huh. Take an advantage. Take advantage. Ah, advantage. Okay. advantage. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Especially if if the the person. My. Uh, the babysit my kid. Uh, uh, oh. 
I'm watching you. We don't see you. I will not die. Maybe sing my kid. Uh, I think we want we want to ask like uh, if I ask him, Carlos. Carlos, could you do me? Could you buy me a coffee? <laughs> no, no, that's no. not a big question. Sorry, you yeah, know. How, how the... discuss? How do you feel when people ask you that's that fun. favor? You think it's ah. okay? You think it's too much because it's ah. respectful? You discuss the severity of the favor. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Carl, Bea says, lend some money. And you? I think lend lend uh, lend me some mo some money, but it depends because I have a friend that lend me money. Lend me, as he said, borrow borrow. No, that no. lends me money. Uh, uh, Melissa. Uh huh. Borrow is tomar prestado. Ah, okay. Que no se lo confundo. Okay. Your... Lend me es como pedir. No, lend es dar prestado. Y borrow es tomar prestado. Yeah. Ok. Let some of the lend me money and are good payers, but a few, kind, a few persons. Ah, no, some, are of them, some of them borrow money from me and then pay Borrow me money from me and then they, pay they me. take it. Uh -huh, so they borrow yeah. money from you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. So... Uh, next question, uh, what kind of favor? Yeah, it's true. So how do you feel when people ask you those favors, guys? That's the question, basically. Mm -hmm. If somebody says, lend me money, how do you feel? Depends. Uh -huh. What does it depend on? Depends uh, if I if I know the person. Uh -huh. I lend uh, lend money with com uh, confidence with confidence. Uh -huh. Conf with confidence, confidence, yes. With confidence. Uh -huh. But uh, not. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Once in Guatemala, I was to the to see a movie uh, alone, and was for um, hung, uh, the Hunger Games. Oh, Hunger the Hunger Games. Games. Hunger, Hunger yeah. Games. Hunger Games. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It depends. Imagine if you let a uh, butter only one dollar. No problem, right? It's like a <laughs> donation, maybe. I think this is not uh, too much money. No problem. It's like a <laughs> donation for me. <laughs> too much money. <laughs> but imagine if ten dollars, five dollars. <laughs> but I, I think it depends because he, he, it's an emergency. Uh, uh, no way. You're a good friend, Carlos. That's good. Sorry? You are a good friend, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, but the saying. problem is if, if you don't have the money, teacher. <laughs> but the problem is, is when the, the people don't uh, pay you back. If you, yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't pay, pay you back. Yeah. Pay hey, yeah. Carlos, do they always pay you? What? Do they always pay you? Uh, I'm more late, but I pay back. <laughs> oh, you do pay back, okay. No, I wouldn't some, question some, that. Some, I, I have travels to pay, but I pay um, late, but I pay. <laughs> no, 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 but your friends, when you lend them money, do they no. pay you back? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're going to go back now. Let's go.
Eunice, you're looking glam tonight. <laughs> you notice that, Gio? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen you like that. Alrighty, you finished discussing? Yeah. Which is the worst favor somebody could ask you guys? Money. Money. Okay. Money. Some money. I don't know. Babysit. Babysitter. Ah, oh, yes, right. Oh my gosh. Eat it, babysit it. <laughs> and and yeah, that is not here. I should have sent you the old one. Because it says buy me a coffee. I mean, who cares? It's not a big deal. Well, the other one says, let me stay in your place for 15 days. How would you feel about that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's one of Maybe I, some I prefer to, be, to babysit in that case. That depends on the place. Let me be in your house. <laughs> in your house. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. Yeah, so those are the top three most annoying favors somebody can ask you then. Okay, well, let's see how you're supposed to ask for favors. Can you clean up my baby, please? <laughs> can you <babysit> them? <laughs> All right, can you read the objective, uh, Melissa? By the end of this class, you will learn how to make requests with models. If clauses and gerunds. Okay, gerunds again with a combination of other stuff, guys. So take note, please, on the structure, the examples, because after this we'll practice. There it is. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> By the end of this class you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models. We want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder: you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so? What are models? Those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there: can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use? your laptop okay and what we mean by this is that we're gonna use a gerund right so would you mind after would you mind um, we're gonna have to use a gerund and I'm gonna quickly point that out here in a second so let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here so as you can see we on the left we see that if I use the expression can I borrow your pencil that is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? 
would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going uh, to uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? It's not to say that you're going to use that with a friend. Usually with a friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it all depends, you will typically just say, hey, can I borrow $20 from you, right? Um, but as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off, uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that. Um, so let's let's do the example. How how are we going to do this? So well, uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it? Well, you can say, "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, "Could you lend me twenty dollars?" Right. So I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs, the uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out. That's what I'm using. Um, another way could be. Is it okay if I borrow twenty dollars? All right, and uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, "Do you mind if I borrow twenty dollars?" Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow twenty dollars? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out. I, I don't. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but. Um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you can as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So, uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite. Right? What will be another way to say this? Well, we can say... Um, would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars? That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression. Would you mind lending me twenty dollars? So in this case, whenever you see "would you mind" the expression "would you mind" without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression "would you mind," this is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me twenty dollars? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is: Would you mind letting me? Well, the reason why after mine you use ing is because we learned that last night, right? After mine, always use ing. Anyway, I don't know how long. I think yes, it was sir. about to finish. I have no idea. But we're gonna finish the video right now, okay? And I want you to do something more practical. All right? Take this. I. I have an image, so you don't need to screenshot it, but I'll send it to you. Okay, here it is. So, guys, what you have to do is respect the, um, the conjugation. After the expression, mm -hmm. there is a specific conjugation that you have to follow, and you were already explained that by, by the person speaking, right? So after can, you have to use present simple, right, or infinitive. After could, infinitive. After is it okay, um, infinitive. After do you mind, infinitive. Past, 
past, ing, okay, to borrow and ing. So those little details you have to pay attention to because they make all the difference. So um, for instance, look, I'm gonna send you a link. Okay, there it is, that link has, how can I open this? Hold on, let me open it so you can see it too. I was gonna finish the meeting by mistake. No, <laughs> stop sharing. <laughs> let me see where it is. Right, here's the link. Okay, so we have some favors. We have 10, I think there are 10. So look for them, don't read the explanation, just read the favor. So this is lying for them. Hey, is my, is my boyfriend with you? Yes, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere to be found <laughs> right that's why the next one is giving them an answer giving them the answer to homework keeping well i don't think that's common house sitting you know the meaning of house sitting no it's like baby house sitting you take care of the baby right so if it's yeah. house sitting yeah. who do you take care of or what do you take care of the house exactly Gio. <laughs> i saw you <laughs> the house so it's like can you stay there right what else? Uh, we can stop up, uh, stop up at the grocery store. Hey, can you bring me some <laughs> some bananas, please? All right, here is someone at home. I don't know. Sneaking candy into a movie theater. Ooh. Hey, you have a jacket, Jocelyn. Can you put some subways inside the, <laughs> the jacket? And go into the theater. Well, you know. Well, pet sitting is like, you know, house sitting, babysitting, and pet sitting. All right. And number 10 is being the designated driver. I don't know. Taking them to the airport. <laughs> well, these favors, all right. We're going to discuss. I want you to formulate the, the, the structure. But here's my question for you. <clears throat> In the video, they say that it depends on the person, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't only depend on the person, it also depends on the favor. Because even if it's your best friend, if you need to stay there for 15 days, you would be like, ay, mira, usted quería preguntar si y, y grandes vueltas, okay? That's the same, all right? Even if it's your best friend. So you have to go like, I was wondering if you'd mind letting me stay in your house, all right? So it depends on the favor and it depends on the person. So. I want you to think about it and write down an example for each favor. All right, there are 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have 10 too. So, all right. Whatever you decide to do here, I think we'll have time to finish, hopefully. Uh, any questions? So, write down the favors and the conjugation. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, Let's get working. Type it and then send it to a group, okay? Because I want to check them later afterwards. the structure uh the model models uh -huh. if the model uh -huh. okay next is it okay if you if i use your phone yes it's okay you can use it good really can you do can me a favor alvin and beatrice I yes use the phone no uh, alvin we're gonna adapt the ones on the link I just want to say one thing. Mm -hmm. There's three things I never give. I never uh, learn. This, mm -hmm. The cell phone, the car, 
and the girlfriend. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> your most valid possessions. Wow. <laughs> and my horse. <laughs> and my and my this guy is and my, silly. And my guns. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> For you. <laughs> you are terrible, oh. Alvin. <laughs> Uh, well, all right, so at least those, <laughs> and I need you to type them this time. Sorry, I always have you speaking, but this time I need you to write, please. Okay, so if one of you could share a screen, that would be awesome. And I was, I was uh, working with you at at late, maybe. <laughs> no, yes, because it's a, it's the is a is a lie, right. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. a big one. Okay, so you yeah. have to you have to combine the expression and the favor together with the correct conjugation. Okay, so open the link uh -huh, and use this. So we're gonna say, for example, lying for someone. Maybe it would be. Uh, would you mind lying? Would you mind lying for me? I don't know. So you have to conjugate one by one. Okay. Is that clear? Uh, see. All right. Okay. The image, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have to combine the images. Ah. This is a discussion. I don't understand very well. No. Or... This time you have to write. Okay. Oh. All right. You're gonna use the expressions in in bold. These. This is bold. Negrita. Okay. The expressions in bold with one favor from the link lying right giving uh, them giving the them the answer to for home. example would you mind giving me the answers okay uh, this one is home sitting so could you please home sit, could you please take care of my house? So those, you combine these with the expressions. And we have to write. You have to write this time, yes. Wow. Please, this time wow. is necessary. I know, wow. I never have you do that, but this time it's important. <laughs> wow. So one of you share screen, please. Let's get one, one example. <laughs> one example. Just yes, one. one. One for each one, but we only have oh, eight one minutes. Room. Okay, bye. <laughs> How is that role in the university, for example? For example, yes. Yeah. Especially the 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 number with, with ah, yeah. I got um how do you say guia yeah. activity yeah, well, activity, yeah activity yeah activity guides the of math right <laughs> yeah and you can change the 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 numbers with another student, right? <laughs> and you ask about, oh. uh, can you give me the answer to the number, whatever? <laughs> uh -huh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you oh, give no. me the answer? Okay, also practice, um, would it be okay? Would you mind? And I want you to type them. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, is it okay if I use your notebook for? Would it be okay mm -hmm. if I? I mm -hmm. Can I borrow your English notes? Could you lend me your T-shirt? Perfect. It's okay. okay. If I. She is sit next to you is with I, Carla, but it's okay. It's okay if I sit next to you. Do you mind if I use, yes, perfect. Would it be okay if I, and that verb has to be in the past. <laughs> Doing a great job. Well done. This is the best work I have seen tonight. So yes, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Sign the tripod. <laughs> yeah. And I can oh, sleep yes. when you are driving. 
Ya, mm, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I did that. Do, do you work at Britannica? What? Do you work at Britannica? Yeah, I, I'm working that in that school. So, okay. na next question. Uh, let me see number six. Uh, is wearing my my pet today? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, imagine. I, oh no! I don't like pets. <laughs> no, it's too. It's a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> it's a responsibility too. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if, if when you are carrying the pets and maybe dying, for example, in your home. Wow, terrible. Terrible. Oh. Or, yeah. or they got sick, right? Yes. Yes, you, I don't know. You go to the veterinarian, people, right? No. Yes, imagine. No, and you, not... you, you, you can t pay the, 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 the medicines. No. The medicines, yes. Yeah. Mm. What about picking stuff up at the grocery store? I asking a friend about. I was wondering if you don't mind uh, picking. You do doing house sitting. Doing, but doing house sitting for me. I I don't know. Would you mind? Let me see. Would Teacher, you mind? Correct. The sentence. Would doing. you mind doing house yes, sitting? House sitting. Yes, it's okay. Um, Perfect. Hey. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next. Give someone a hug for them. Ah. If you ever no. want to feel creepy, say how do you suppose? Mm -hmm. Then whisper in their hair. Wayne, yeah. when to me give to give this to you? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it's never. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why well, help? Want to go? Want to go to the movie? Want to go to the cinema? I wonder if you want to go. Mm -hmm. If you want to go to the city. Okay. Melissa. Hola. <laughs> Hola, this. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm when sorry. You say, when you say um, inviting me to the cinema, it means, hey, let's go. That's it. But they're not going to pay for you. <laughs> okay. You have to say treat, treating me to the cinema. Treat. Uh, would you mind treating uh, ing treating me to the cinema mm -hmm. okay. the verb is to treat someone hey guys i'll treat you to dinner tonight okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> i do it but yeah that's uh, that's how you say it. okay i wonder uh, if you want to go to the cinema i huh? very good okay keeping their spouse uh, wait company. melissa number oh, Three, I wonder if you want to go to the cinema. Do you have to use a question mark? Let me check. I don't think so. I wonder if you want to go to the cinema. No. I don't know. No, right? It's not a question. No. no. I oh. wonder. Yeah, no question mark. It's not no a question. question. <laughs> okay. Uh, what it means keeping their spouse? What is spouse? Spouse company. Spouse is a la pareja, el esposo o esposa. Keeping their spouse company. Uh-huh. Hacerle compañía. Keep company. Keeping their spouse company. Oh. Uh, 
Could you please give some help to Alex? <laughs> no, it's very, it's no, very boring. I didn't, I didn't ask for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Instead, I, I, I could say, your mind gives me a heart. Okay. I ask you for, not for maybe someone else. If you are, maybe if you are sad or because... Maybe you have you a giving, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mine, yeah. I mean. yeah. I'm sad. Could you, you mind <laughs> helping? Okay. <laughs> Don't be tight. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, guys, let me see. I have to use one of the expressions. Mm, I was gonna ask that. Okay, I was gonna say, hey guys, I was wondering if you'd mind sending your examples to the group. Read my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, send your examples, Sending guys. I, I don't know, that is so personal. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd mind sending the examples to the group. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be like, can you send the examples to the group? <laughs> I don't have time for this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, no, send them. And, <laughs> yeah, all right, send them, please. And um, yeah, if you want, you can practice more, right, by writing your own conjugations because it's a lot of like fast gerunds. So it's a matter of practice. All right, you have any questions? Oh, no, we are clear. All right, awesome. Well, thank you for being in class, guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay. See you next time. Okay. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.